Hey Aquarius, welcome to your April 2020 Money Business Career Reading with me, Stella Wilde. This is for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. We're going to get into the energies for your money, business, and career. Aquarius, do check out your general reading for the month of April. It had a lot of news about prosperity and new paths that might be opening up for you in regards to that. So we'll see what else comes out in this general reading. Uh, if you would like a personal private reading with me, I'll leave a link in the description um, because these, as I say all the time, are general readings. So um, what we're going to do is get into it with regular tarot, cosmic tarot, and then I have business career mentor card, oracle card that I will pull for you guys. All right, so let's see what else the energy has for you this month, Aquarius. We have the Empress. And we have the Six of Cups. Beautiful energy here. So the Empress is a card of prosperity. It is a card of nurturing your prosperity. We think of the Empress as being this motherly maternal energy, but we have to remember she's an Empress. So she is endowed with material well-being, material goods, in addition to her all of her motherly and nurturing qualities um what this suggests to me with the six of cups so remember these are general and i try to make the energies apply as many ways as i can but you could be nurturing a dream that you've had since childhood i think this came out in the general as well so it's further affirmation that you've had since childhood about some new direction you want to go in for your career life some of you may be starting some sort of new enterprise involving um, the beauty industry, involving children, involving, um, yeah, anything connected with beauty, with, um, a, somebody might be writing a children's book too. Children's book, children's uh, daycare center, uh, anything like that. Um, also anything to do with like memories. So like digitizing photographs, scrapbooking, um, you know, things of that nature. All right. So you could be starting some business along those lines. Uh, you could, you know, um, but it's also just the idea. The six of cups is this innocent childhood energy. So like I said, you could be nurturing this month, a dream that you've had since childhood. You know, what do you want to be when you grow up? Well, maybe you've had to be all these other things, but now you're thinking, Hey, I really want to do something that I've always wanted to do with my career. Now is the time. So many people I've heard from so many, many clients and, and different friends and people and everybody is reevaluating. I mean, everyone I've talked to by far reevaluating the direction of their life with this current situation. Everybody's had a lot of time to think about, you know, these important questions. And a lot of people are changing their minds and wanting to pursue something that brings them more personal happiness. So this is a beautiful energy. All right, let's see what else we have here. We have Queen of Pentacles upside down. We have Strength upside down. And we have the Hierophant upside down. So this suggests that you really want to leave behind. You want to get out of a commitment, Hierophant, where your energy has been exhausted the strength upside down and where you have not been making enough money. Hence, you want to dive into this energy and pursue something that's much more near and dear to your heart. Okay. So, you know, some people are like, why do you read reversals or they came out that way because you put them that way? Well, this is how I read tarot because reversals are very informative. And sometimes, yes, it means a delay. Sometimes it means the opposite situation. Um, in this instance, this is indicating to me, as I said, what you want to get out of. You want to get out of not having enough money. You want to get out of not having enough time. You want to get out of something, a commitment that is not rewarding you the way you want to be rewarded. And it's also whatever you've been doing for the last anywhere five to eight years, um, you know, you just like, you don't have the, it hasn't been nurturing you really. You may have been in a position where you had to nurture everybody else in that particular job that you've been doing, but you were not getting as much back. 
So it's really, like I said, much more now about you nurturing yourself, your own dreams, rather than putting that energy out for other people. So it's time to nurture your own dreams. That's what I'm feeling from this energy. So you don't want this anymore. Okay, let's see what Cosmic Tarot has to say about the situation. And this is very much dovetailing with what came out in the general reading. So let's see what else we need to know about this Empress energy. Such good energy. Because it's the Empress. You know, it's, it's a very powerful, and it's a major arcana. It's a powerful energy of manifestation. Another number three, three of pentacles. What do we have on the bottom? World upside down. So you are going to be changing your world. The time is not exactly here yet. This is like this, I'm feeling from this energy for most of you, this is a general reading, that this month is a turning point. It's a seed planting time. Um, you may not be able to fully get out of something at the moment. You want to. That's evident from the energy we see here. But the world upside down is it's not, something is not completed yet. Um, so what I'm feeling from this is it's going to happen within three months. We have another number three here. We have the three of pentacles. For many of you, this path is going to be opening up in three months in this new direction. There are some other aspects you have to wrap up first. You are in this card, Aquarius, along with, where are you? Here you are. Here's Leo, Taurus, and Scorpio. So this is your card. It's upside down. So it goes with this energy here. This commitment that you want to get out of, not so fast, right? There's some loose ends that need to be tied up. That doesn't mean it's never going to happen. It just means there's some loose ends that need to be tied up. And the direction that you're heading in is going to turn your world upside down, but in a good way. We have the Three of Pentacles here. The Three of Pentacles is a gorgeous card. It is a card of building something solid in your life. Now, the thing with this card in this particular deck, as you can see, the circle's not yet completed. There's still work being done on the building. People are, you know, getting their act together and making this happen. So with all of this energy, you're still getting some plans into place. You are building the foundation for this new plan to come to fruition in about three months. So again, it's not like it's never going to happen. It's just that it's in process. Um, and when you get all your ducks in a row, some of you are working on, you know, like I've said in the general, a certification. Uh, some of you may be graduating in the next three months. Um, some of you maybe have your website will be finished in the next three months, uh, like that type of energy. That's the ducks in the row that you're, you're making happen. Um, and then that card will turn to upright and you will be finished up with the old energy. So you are making enormous progress this month, um, and the next three months in building this solid, solid foundation for yourself. But right now, there's something that's not quite over yet. Now, for some of you, again, it's a general reading. Some of you may see, we have May here. This is Taurus energy as well, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Um, so in May, you're going to see a situation, I think, come to a head with this commitment that's not quite finished yet. Um, it could be for some of you, again, it's general, with strength upside down, it's like the straw that breaks the camel's back happens in May. The last straw, you've had it. You're like, that's it. I am done. Um, so that may be the issue with this as well. Um, I'm feeling some of you are hanging on to something till the bitter end. 
Like you may see the writing on the wall that um, your company is not doing very well or, um, you know, you maybe you didn't get laid off yet, but you see like that may could happen. Like, you know, there's you you see or it's just gotten so toxic at your workplace, you know that you're not going to be able to take much more of it. Or perhaps new management is coming in and you know that, you know, who's ever coming in is, you know, they're not that great. Uh, that type, all any of those type of scenarios. So some of you with this energy, like I said, you're hanging on to the bitter end until the last possible moment. And it's likely that in May, there would be that moment where you're saying, all right, now I got to cut and run. Okay, so that's possible with some of you as well. But the important thing to remember here is that, you know, work on your dream. It's right here for you this month. Work on your dream. What you focus on expands. Don't focus on this other situation. We know what this is, right? You know what this is. If this reading's resonating for you, you know exactly what this is. So, all right, we know what it is. It's going to pass. It's going to end <laughs> one way or the other. But you're building something brand new for yourself, Aquarius, that has enormous potential because the Empress is showing up here. It not only has enormous creative potential, but it has enormous financial potential because we have to remember the Empress is a card of fortune, finances. She's an Empress. She got the moolah, okay? So it's, it's very good. This is good energy. But there's also, like I said, there's this idea with the Six of Cups here that, um, you know, it's, it's a dream for many of you that you've had a long time. And it's really near and dear to your heart. All right, I'm gonna take a sip of tea. I'll be right back with your business mentor card. All right, Aquarius, so let's get in now with your business mentor card. And they have little messages on them, and then we'll pull a tarot to further clarify that. But I love this energy for you. This energy's dovetailing with that general reading very nicely. All right, let's see what we have. Who's your mentor? That card just fell right out. You have Cheryl Sandberg of Facebook fame. Let's see what she has to say. Log in. The news feed is always starving. Update your terms and conditions. Yes. I think she fell out for somebody else this month too. Um, so very interesting. Log in. For some of you, that's a clear message that you need to get your social media up and running. You need to get your website finished in the next couple of months, as we've talked about already in this reading. Um, you know, so you really need to pay attention to your media presence, your presence on the internet. Get it done. Get your website done. Um, the newsfeed is always starving. That, that ties right into that. And update your terms and conditions. I think that's really key to this card. Your terms and conditions about how you want to live your life, Aquarius. How you want to end this situation that has been, you know, getting on your last nerve like your terms and conditions for your life going into the future are going to be very different than they have been thus far it's going to be much more about nurturing what you truly want and your dreams and desires and goals so i love this for you all right let's pull another card to clarify cheryl let's see what cheryl has to say We're going to use this deck. See what else we have for you, Aquarius. Okay, that just flipped over. Look at this in this deck. The Eight of Swords. It's going to be about, you know, like I said, two to three months. But could be, yeah. I'm looking at eight weeks here. Look at this card. Help is at hand. Rescue is here. This person is coming to cut the cords. If you've been feeling stuck, as I know some of you have been, you're going to see, I look at this figure as the universe. You're going to see the universe stepping in and freeing you from the situation that has felt like, when is this ever gonna end? Okay, so this is very, very strong. The thing is, 
just doesn't happen by magic. You need to, to update your terms and conditions. Clearly state to the universe, this is how I want to be free. This is the new thing I want to be doing. These are my terms and conditions. Make it happen. All right. So your freedom is coming very soon, Aquarius. And you're doing, you're doing everything in your power. You're laying the groundwork. You're leaning in. You're leaning into your future, your new future that you're creating for yourself, Aquarius. Um, but there is, with, with Cheryl Sandberg coming up, um, you know, if you've been resisting, that's the other thing with this Eight of Swords, if you've been resisting doing your website, doing your social media, it's time to look at why you've been maybe resisting that. That applies for some of you. Um, what is there a mental block you've had about that? Because Eight of Swords rules, you know, the mind. Something you're stuck in your mind, you know, some mental mental block. So take a look at that as well. All right, Aquarius, to work with to work with the energy. Because again, it's about working with the energies that come out in in the cards. So Aquarius, this is a really powerful and positive reading for you guys. And I encourage you, if you haven't watched your general, please go watch that also for the month of April. I wish you all the best for your success, Aquarius. So let me know how the reading resonates. Take care, and I'll see you again soon. Stella Wilde, signing out.